recorded live in New York City, the writing capital of the world. Welcome to the Virtual Writers Room with Israel Savage. This month, we're talking about getting ready. I just wanted to talk about it for uh, a couple minutes and, and get some thoughts before we jump into what we're working on tonight. So this idea of getting ready is not something that's once you do it, it's done forever. It's a part of the process. Before you even get ready, you have to get ready to be ready because sometimes you don't even feel like getting your materials together. You don't even feel like sitting in front of a computer to write. You haven't even reached that point yet. And so before you can get ready, you have to get ready to be ready. I'm going to toss that out there to you before I discuss it just a little bit and tell you what I mean by that. What do you think I mean by that? When I say getting ready to be ready, what does that mean to you? I think it means being in a mindset that will focus you in a way that you're, I think, excited about it and energized to Mm -hmm. do it in a way that's fulfilling and satisfying and what you're seeking. Yeah, I was, I was thinking about it automatically in two ways. First way was uh, similar to what Karen was saying, um, getting your mind ready in the set. I guess the, the phases that you have to go through. How do I clear my mind to get into the mind frame, to get creative and then get into the flow? So like that process of how do I get ready to get ready for that was the first thing that I thought. And then the other way was getting ready in the sense now of, doing the necessary work on self that you got to do in order to be able to sustain a form of success that you are manifesting for yourself. So right. uh, sometimes in head, you know, we always are in our head theory thinking we're getting ready, but sometimes we're just procrastinating and stalling. So like the real necessary of like, if you really get ready, it will happen. You, you mentioned uh, words like struggling, uh, you know, against or, or struggling with uh, and, and words like procrastinating, which many times has a negative connotation, procrastinating. That's a bad thing, procrastinating. There are classes on how not to procrastinate. But what if we stripped all of that away? What if we just acknowledged and appreciated the fact that it's a process and procrastinating is part of the process of getting ready to be ready? Procrastinating is really a combination of resisting and exploring. In other words, instead of allowing yourself to explore, allowing yourself to play, you are resistant to what your creative self is saying that it needs, and we call that procrastinating. If you stripped away the resistance that, oh, I shouldn't be exploring, I shouldn't be playing, I shouldn't be then you would just play. You would go and hang out at a hostel for a few hours just because I kind of want to do it. It sounds like something fun. Or you would go have some ice cream and allow yourself the enjoyment of that. Then it doesn't become procrastinated anymore. It becomes part of the creative process, part of getting ready to be ready, part of filling up, part of filling your emotions up. I, I tell you, There is nothing that will cause a child to be more disobedient than if you tell them they can't have something or they can't do something. Uh, And so if a kid says, I I want some candy, and you say, no, you can't have some candy, then they're going to want that candy more than anything. And and you're going to have a hard time. But if you say yes to that child, I want some candy. Yeah, sure, you can have some candy. We just have to do a few things first. Then you can have your candy. And sometimes, and it's okay to say, you know what? Why don't we have just a bite of cake right now? What do you think? Should we do it? Wouldn't that be fun? Oh my gosh, it's eight o'clock in the morning. (gasps) Should we just have a bite of that cake just to see what it tastes like? Wouldn't that be fun? Wouldn't that be exciting? Oh my gosh, let's do it. A bite. (sighs) Oh my gosh. Bite of cake, bite of cake. Oh, that was so good. You know what? I like taking a bite. I like savoring just the bite. Mm, just knowing that there's just that little bit now makes me appreciate it so even more than the whole slice of cake. But I can't wait to have the rest of that cake later. Doesn't that just um, quiet that need that to, oh, I must have the cake. I must have it right now. I must have that cake. If I don't have that cake, I can't focus on anything else. Have a little bite of cake. Why not? And, and enjoy it. 
And don't have that bite of cake out of guilt. Enjoy that bite of cake. Lap it up. Savor it. And then it will quiet that part of you that, that's asking for something. There's a reason why you don't want to do the task. That, uh, you know, um, think of it this way. Your future self is holding the desire that you want right there as done. And so let's say it's a book you want to write or a screenplay or a novel or anything you want to create in your life, a new job, a new position. Well, your future self already has it locked and loaded for you. It's right there. And your future self is whispering, you can't get there from where you are now. So you need to just go take a break. Relax, relax yourself. And then, and then you will see the breadcrumbs I am dropping for, for you to get you from where you are to where you need to be so that you can finish this project. Does that make sense? It's really, really it's, it's this, this thing that we're resisting that we think is bad, that we think is not the way it should be. Notice I say think. It's all coming from here. It's all coming from here because people say you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't have your dessert first. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't go out and play when you have a lot of work to do. That is the wrong thing to do. Yet your future self knows for you, for you, it is the easier path to get to where you want to be, to, to go and, and hang out for a couple hours and enjoy it and forget about everything else and then come back. Your future self, and that's why there's this pull, this desire. You would not have the desire. The desire would not be there unless there was a reward on the other end. And the reward is moving you closer in an easier way to putting you in a position where you can receive the idea of the next step that you need to take, relaxing you, soothing you into that. So, so as important as getting ready is, it's even more important to allow ourselves to get ready to be ready. If you liked the video you just saw, click on the link below to find out more about our virtual sketch writers room. You'll interact with writers from around the world, from the comfort of your living room, while you advance your professional writing career. For more information, go to instudios-nyc.com forward slash VWR and make TV within. We'll see you there.